On a normal day, public transport in Kampala is always a mess, with taxis and border borders stopping at every point, yelling for customers and congestion at its peak. The COVID-19 pandemic has, however, changed how public transport should look like in the post-COVID-19 world. Health guidelines will be priority for public transport, and the Kayola buses have come in handy. The automatic sanitizer at the entrance of the buses is an indication of the future of transport in Kampala. So the greatest thing about these Kayola buses is that they are electric. They don't use diesel or any other type of fuel. And therefore, with just a single charge through here, a single charge, you can go for about 300 kilometers and then you have to charge again. Climate change is another threat. Fossil fuels might become obsolete as other alternatives become popular. The Kayola buses are electric and won't need fuel at all. The battery life of the Kayola EVS electric bus is up to 3,000 charge cycles, which is about 900,000 kilometers, compared to 200,000 kilometers of typical diesel engines. For an electric bus, looking at the cost per kilometer, you're looking at about 320 shillings per kilometer, spending on, on electricity. Comparing that to a diesel bus, you're spending about 1,600 plus per kilometer. So it, it already creates value for the bus owner or the operator in terms of revenue generation. So there's so much local content that has been put in consideration while manufacturing these buses, right from the floor made of bamboo here in Uganda to the plastics made here in Uganda and also some aluminium here also still made here in Uganda. And there are so many advantages that these buses have, right from having your phone charged at all times and also being able to access Wi-Fi. The, the current chargers that we use are able to charge this bus within two hours, 100%. Within an hour, you're able to, to deliver up to 80% of this charge. We'll be able to work to see how we can integrate charging infrastructure across, across the, 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 the city. Production capacity is another question. Chira Motors Corporation is working with Luero Industries Limited to produce eight buses per month before the operationalization of the Kira vehicle plant in Jinja. And we can deliver eight buses.